So I got this great question the other day. It reads like this. Antonio, love your channel, but what is going on? I see so many guys out there matching their tie in their pocket square. Exactly. I thought this was a huge no-no. I've been seeing this with newscasters, on sports news, in television shows. What the heck is going on? And Jamie, thank you. That's actually a great question. I can tell that you watch my channel because you understand the rule I've talked about before that a pocket square and a necktie should complement each other, not exactly match. But where did I get this rule, right? Did I make it up? And for the average guy that just maybe found this channel saying, okay, why is this even a big deal? Let me explain. The reality is, no, it's not a big deal. And anyone that makes a big deal of it, well, they're a complete and should be ignored. What I'm talking about here is you being able to better leverage style. And that's why I put this rule out here because I want men to know that they've got options. I want to give them the knowledge, the information that, hey, men have been dressing well and putting these combinations together for a long time. And there are so many options that you have out there. And that's what you're signaling to the world when you wear that simple, solid, matching combination is I don't have options and I don't have a deep understanding about men's style. And this is probably the only pocket square and the only necktie that I even own because I bought them at a shop and I let this shop dress me. Now, I'm not going to say that to anybody, but that's what I pick up and that's what I infer versus a man that I see who understands that, wow, you can use this, basically your pocket square and your necktie as a way to express yourself, to be able to bring in color. Maybe you want to bring your university colors. Maybe you want to actually Talk, I don't know, your military experience. I know I have a necktie that talks about my time in the Marine Corps. It actually is striped. I had it designed. So some of you guys may want to just have fun. It may be a tie that you were presented from your grandfather and you had slimmed down so it would actually fit your profile and your build. These are stories and these are things that you can bring into menswear. Pocket squares that were handmade that actually just, you love the beautiful artwork on them. They bring in paisley. Maybe you're Indian and you want to bring in that classic pattern right there and because you know what it's stands for. That's what I love about being able to bring these combinations together is that you've got this working knowledge. You have this understanding. You show that you put in the effort and that you have options. You care about how you present yourself to the world. Yes, that much is said in a pocket square. And guys, it could be something as simple as going with the white presidential square fold. That right there, Harry Truman used to rock this all the time. He was a former haberdasher, then became U.S. president. But there were so many different ways that you can draw a little bit more attention to that chest. When you wear that necktie, don't just wear a necktie because you have to. Wear a necktie because you want to. And you understand that this is your chance to look amazing, to look like a million bucks. Now, gents, I know you've got an opinion, so I want to hear from me down in the comments. Do you agree, disagree? Is this rule useful or is it outdated? I want to hear from you down below. So when I see a guy with a matching pocket square and necktie combination, I don't think anything bad of the individual. I think here's a guy that's putting in the effort and that is trying. But I do see that this is a guy that has a lot more potential and can do much better. So if you're just getting started, just grab that white linen pocket square, white cotton pocket square. The great thing about that is you're not going to have a necktie that exactly matches that. And it's going to complement any outfit. Such an easy way to be able to create just a really elegant, timeless look that is going to make you look good. So right here, I've got a navy necktie. If I were to match this exactly, obviously a navy pocket square. But this pocket square is going to go a lot better, in my opinion, than a solid navy. Why? Well, we've got a little bit of navy in there, plus a wide range of other colors. But most importantly, we have patterns. We have the paisley pattern. We have that bright orange. We have a little bit of red. Just a variety of different colors. This right here is an example of two things complementing each other. Now, what about this red necktie? Now, if it was solid, I could go with a pocket square that has a little bit of red in it, but that may be too much, a little bit too distracting. Instead, I would recommend for powerful, strong, bright neckties to bring in a solid white pocket square or a more muted pocket square of a color that's not going to attract a lot of attention. White is classic. This is going to work with anything, especially if you go with a presidential fold. But right here, we've also got the light blue. We've got the dark blue. We've got a medium blue. So I could even try to bring in this, but I do think this has too much color. Although in a solid charcoal or navy suit, this combination, you could probably pull it off. But I would probably go for, in general, a more muted pocket square. You could argue, eh, not really feeling this yellow, but it doesn't really matter. The blue in there works 
works with the blue here, so they do complement each other, and it really depends on the person. Maybe this is like his old college colors, and so he wants to bring in a little bit of personality to the outfit. So, what video to watch next? How about how to fold a pocket square? There are many ways, and in this video, I give you the best ways to fold a pocket square or how to tie a necktie. Yes, over here, we've got great ways to tie a necktie, so you're going to look great, you're going to look sharp, you're going to look dapper.